we'll move on to the next uh, primitive called wedge. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of different parameters. Um, let's just see what the default uh, setting is. Okay, so it's sort of like a donut shape, except it's using uh, sort of squares. Okay, so this could be designed for a multitude of uh, different things. Um, this could be used to make different kind of mechanical parts or variations of uh, different things for detail. Let's, let's undo this and hit wedge again. Let's, uh, let's change the uh, variation here. Um, let's try oh maybe eight. Let's see what that uh, gives us. Okay, so you can See how it makes it more uh, more boxy, more hard edged. Okay, let's undo that. Let's try. Let's see what happens if we do five. Okay. So sort of uh, an interesting shape. Something you might see, you know logo type of thing but um, like I said can be used for all different uh, purposes um, and then say we use it to go for more round shape like a donut except because it's using a square and it's kind of looking like it's lathing it let's go let's press 32 see nice and round okay so there's all all different things that we could uh, do with something like this, you know, we could alternate uh, some of this stuff, uh, selections, and um, you know, possibly do some interesting ext uh, extrusions to make uh, different types of uh, shapes. Say, for instance, you went to the uh, multiply tab and you hit bevel, okay, and you could make some interesting parts based off of some of these, uh, um, how should I say, uh, these primitives, you know, we came around and grabbed some of these. I'll just try to grab some of this stuff quick. This is just to give you an example of uh, the cool stuff that you could possibly do to uh, create some anything like detail parts, sci-fi kind of stuff um, very, very quickly. Let's uh, hit uh, bevel again. Whoops. Boom. See, we got a cool, cool looking part. Some sort of weird funky gear or something that can be attached to a wall or who knows. Or this could actually be like a physical, you could somehow turn this into an actual building or something and just add windows and stuff. And, you know, there could be all sorts of different, uh, different things that you can do. Or this could be part of... Uh, uh, you know, maybe in a spaceship, uh, part of one of the thrusters where this could be the, uh, where some of the flames come out flying out the side and you got some interesting detail of the, the thrusters. So, like I said, a lot of different stuff you can uh, do with these shapes and get some interesting geometry very, very fast. And it would be very difficult to try to build this, uh, to get this basic shape doing this by hand. Um, you could, like I said, do this with the uh, lathe tool, create this, but like I said, this is uh, pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next tool.